Welcome, in this video we're going to take a look at how to detect cryptocurrency mining activity on your network. My name is Dara Delaney from Netforge. So first up, what do you need to monitor on your network? Well, first I recommend you, you analyze all DNS traffic. You either log all DNS queries or you use traffic analysis to capture the DNS queries from a span or mirror port. DNS queries can give away a lot about what clients and users are doing. You just search for things like Bitcoin within the domains. You'll find clients that are associated with cryptocurrency mining. Intrusion detection software is very important here. Um, intrusion detection software typically does pattern-based matching. If you're up to date with something like the emerging threat rules, it is a very good way of detecting um, cryptocurrency mining. And also monitor internet relay chat communications. Um, even though you won't use it yourself, behind the scenes, the, the mining applications, they do use IRC type communication. So if you see IRC on an unusual port number, that's definitely something to investigate. Now to do all of this, as I mentioned, you really need network traffic analysis and your source. At a minimum, you need to be monitoring your internet gateway. But I would recommend that you add to that traffic tune from your DNS servers you know, you can extend that in time to other servers and other, maybe even routers and to get more and more visibility on your network. Now the thing is with crypto mining or cryptocurrency mining is that if you install it on a Windows client, you're really wasting your time. Um, you're only increasing the attack vector of your network by more applications, more communication. Um, it is a murky place. You'd be Google and try and search for applications uh, for mining. You really need a rig like this here with many, many graphics cards. Um, th these are optimized for cryptocurrency mining. They're expensive, but this is where it's at. So users are wasting their time using PCs, even servers. On the client itself, there may not be some um, you know, visible clues or, or apps running in the foreground that you've got mining software. Now I've got a telltale icon here, but if that was removed and if I close down this application here, just put it in the background running. Um, this PC here is running cryptocurrency mining software and you know users can use it, browse the web. It's not obvious there's something going on. So a client can look something like this here. Um, you have a setup, you can start mining and you know, it, it runs there in the background. So that's a client that the user installed. They're trying to generate some revenue. It's a, most of the time they're wasting their time. And it, it required a user to install something. But just be aware as well that there are, if you go to certain websites, so for example, this one here, buybitcoinworldwide.com, this thing has got code on its web page that would try and hijack your local resources like your CPU. So it uses your PC to mine cryptocurrencies. So even now, if you're patched and up to date running the latest browser and all that, you should be okay. Um, but just bear, just know that it, you don't need to install actual software to use your resources. So if you visit certain websites, it can happen. So what we're going to do now is going to get onto a Langardian system and show you how you can detect uh, Bitcoin type act or cryptocurrency mining on your network using network traffic analysis. Okay, I'm logged onto my Langardian. So the first um, report, you can go to the security dashboard, but first thing you want to take a look at is your, <coughs> on the security here, is top network events. You can look at the recent time period, like last hour, but for me, um, I got a time here when I had the crypto mining active, and I'll just run the report for that time period. So what I have here is a couple of different elements or different types of m metadata that uh, would suggest I've got cryptocurrency mining on my network. First thing here is quite obvious. It tells me it's a Windows 32 application, Bitcoin miner, uh, it's using the, you know, authorized stratum protocol message. So it's quite descriptive here. If I drill down then on this, I can find the client responsible. So here it is here, 10.1.1.187. That's on my network. With Active Directory integration, I could also get the username. So now we know that this client has got a cryptocurrency miner on it and 
we need to uh, take it off the network. The next event here, request for kind of browser. So when we see a browser mention, that's not maybe not the user has done something, but they've gone to a website and unbeknownst to them, that website's using the resources. If I drill down on that, again, it's the same client. Interesting, you can see here it's making connection to, uh, it's a website which probably is hosted here in France uh, over HTTPS. So again, it's the same client. And you saw me earlier going to that visit a website and um, that tried to use my resources. The other interesting one here is the third event, which is IRC channel join and non-standard port. Now it doesn't say here that it's crypto mining, but any type of IRC event, you should investigate it. Um, users don't use that protocol anymore. So there's something going on. So you need to drill down here and see what client, and again, it's the same client. So we have a problem with this client. So that's your network event. So it's the first place to go. The next, uh, type of metadata to look at is your DNS queries. Now to get those, I just went to reports. I looked, went under here services. And services could be anything like DHCP, DNS. So I have my DNS here. I select the DNS clients report, and what I want to take a look at is 10.1.187, my problematic client, and you can see here all of the the DNS queries. Now if I well, actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop focusing on that client for a second, and I want to take a look at any domain where a coin is mentioned. Now, in a big network, you might want to specify Bitcoin. Um, you might get a lot of um, results for just coins. But I'm going to, on this network, use coin, run the report. So what I have here is, again, the 10.1.187, we've got a number of queries, DNS queries, everything from coinhive.com to Bitcoin Trading World, Bitcoin Plus. Um, this stuff here doesn't look like a user domain, like that's not like something top, top, somebody typed into the browser. I suspect that's part of the application. It's making a connection to coinhive.com, litecoinpool.org. So again, we have a lot of, evidence here to back up or to go to the user and say look you got to take your PC off the network we know you're running cryptocurrency mining applications we've got DNS records we've got IDS events we've got suspicious IRC communication and also they're going to websites that are trying to uh, use the resources so what you could do as well is with a the coin added here search I could go actions uh, save as Give it a name, so for um, Bitcoin DNS lookups. Okay, save that as a custom report. And if I go to my dashboards and go to my security dashboard, now your security dashboard should already have top network events. So here's that one we just did a few minutes ago coming up here. And what I want to do is edit this dashboard and I may add or remove or replace. So I'm going to add here, just type in coin. So Bitcoin DNS lookups, we'll add that to my security dashboard. Save. Takes a um, couple of minutes for the report to show data, but now on my security dashboard, I've got my IDS events and I've got my suspicious DNS queries all in one place. So I don't need to go clicking all reports and trying to find the um, relevant report anymore. So that's how you can use a product that does network traffic analysis like LangGuardian and how you can use it to detect crypto um, currency mining on your network.